Five Minute Music Reviews. Today we are reviewing the Avet Brothers and their new album, Magpie and the Dandelion. That is the Avet Brothers and their song Open Ended Life from their new album, Magpie and the Dandelion. Hello, I am Brian Morris, and welcome to 5-Minute Music Reviews, where we review music, new and old, folk to rock, indie to pop, multi-platinum superstars to undiscovered artists, all in about five minutes. And today we are reviewing the Avet Brothers and their new album, Magpie and the Dandelion. The Avett brothers are two brothers, Seth and Scott Avett, who are from the great state of North Carolina. They are accompanied by Bob Crawford on double bass and Joe Kwan on cello. Their sound incorporates elements of folk, bluegrass, rock, and even a little bit of punk into a tasty mix that is their own sound. They've been compared to Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, Counting Crows, Mumford & Sons, and lots of other bands, but the Avid Brothers have their own unique sound, which they developed over the past decade. The band has been recording just about one studio album every year since 2002, and since 2007, the band has been on quite a roll. They've made outstanding albums such as Emotionalism, and their commercial breakthrough album from 2009 was an album called I and Love and You. That was a fantastic album and was one of the best albums of 2009. Last year, they released an album called The Carpenter, which was also very well received both commercially and by their very loyal fan base. The new album now is called Magpie and the Dandelion and was produced again by Rick Rubin, who also produced the prior two releases. Rubin does a great job of incorporating each of the band's influences and smoothing out the rough spots to bring out the very best of the band. This batch of songs was interestingly recorded at the same time as their prior album, The Carpenter. These songs are heavily influenced by the band's bass player, Bob Crawford, whose young daughter was diagnosed with a brain tumor while they were writing and recording these songs. The pain behind the lyrics is palpable at times and is especially powerful during songs such as Morning Song, Good to You, Bring Your Love to Me, and the gorgeous song, Part from Me. Part from me Would not dictate someone love me where I'm going. What a beautiful song that is. The songs are very well crafted and emotionally alive. While the songwriting doesn't quite match the exceptional bar that they set with I and Love and You, these songs are still superb. The instrumentation is simple but very rich and vibrant and every note can be clearly heard and felt. The band does include a live version of their song Souls Like the Wheels, which was previously included on their album Second Gleam, and this song sounds a bit out of place next to the Rick Rubin-produced studio tracks. That aside, this is yet another superb collection of songs by a wonderful band, which has now produced four fantastic albums in a row, Emotionalism, I and Love and You, The Carpenter, and now Magpie and the Dandelion. So for music, I'm giving this album a B plus, lyrics a B plus, production an A minus, and overall a B plus, which is a very strong grade. Let's keep the dialogue going. Let me know what you think of the Avet Brothers, Magpie and the Dandelion, and let me know what other albums you'd like to see me review. Email me at feedback at 5minutemusicreviews.com. Follow us on Twitter at 5 Minute Music. Like us on Facebook and visit us anytime at 5minutemusicreviews.com. Let your friends know about the podcast and make sure you subscribe to us on iTunes. Thank you so much for listening and I will see you at the next five.